From the Benson Tower Studio, this is Fox 8 Morning Edition at 6 a.m. Now, November is National Diabetes Awareness Month, and with the holidays coming up, you may want some tips on healthier lifestyle choices. So here with more is Turo's doctor, Meredith Maxwell, on diet and diabetes prevention. Welcome. Thank you. Love having you here. Oh, thank you very much. So it's Diabetes Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Tell us all we have to know about so diabetes is a huge problem in America. About 25 million people have diabetes. And really, um, the most important risk factor for diabetes is being overweight and overconsumption of calories. So there are lots of tips and tricks for people who can prevent that just by eating the right things. So less fatty foods, more fiber, lots of um, whole grains, cereals, things like that, fresh fruits and vegetables, less butter, less margarine. The problem with diabetes is that when you overeat, it can cause an insulin spike. People who are overweight have problems with their cells being resistant to insulin. So that's why it helps to eat more healthily with diabetes. Okay, so where does, I know Louisiana, New mm -hmm. Orleans, where do they stand as far as diabetes and you know, health. I know we are a big food place, so right. how is that? Which leads to obesity and being overweight, which leads to a higher increase in the people that are at risk for diabetes. So it is a big problem, um, especially here in Louisiana. Okay, so what are some risk factors um, being invo involved, uh, being overweight, high calorie diet? Well, a lot of things can raise your blood sugar, stress being one of them, um, overconsumption of calories, eating the, bad, the, the worst things for you, um, genetics. Um, even menstrual cycle can, hormones can change your, you know, your sugar levels. So being active can really help. Making smart choices can really help. You can't really change diet, like genetics, mm -hmm. but um, little things every day can put you at a decreased risk. And so. For people who like to cook and you know like to use their butter mm -hmm. and sugars, what are some good substitutes for people to use out there? So olive oils are very smart, but not in huge vat quantities. Just small at a time. Spray butters, not real butter. Less lard. Um, you know, making smart decisions that way. Try uh, lean cuts of meat, lean uh, steak, not the huge big fatty T-bones. Um, try to incorporate more vegetables, green vegetables, orange vegetables, things like that into your diet can really help and be filling too. Okay, so any holiday tips that you re you tell your patients, you know, things to avoid, things to, you know, you should do? Well, I'm not that strict, but <laughs> holidays you can uh, indulge a little bit more, but just don't make it an everyday experience. Okay. So, you know, try to put less of that fatty salad dressing on your salad. Mm -hmm. Try to do smaller meals. That really helps as well. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. We love having you here. And great information. Thank you. So again, watch your portion control and watch out for those fatty foods because diabetes is not good.